Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve quadratic equation using quadratic formula. In this example, in our first example, I will show you now we can solve this using two different methods. First is by factoring. Second is by using the quadratic formula. And yung next example natin is solve lang natin using the quadratic formula. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Let's start with the factoring method. For the factoring method, guys, there are equations na factorable. That's why kaya siyang solve by factoring. And also, using the quadratic formula. There are also equations na hindi factorable. So, on tendency, we might use the completing the square or the quadratic formula. Kaya siya available for us to use. Pakita ko na sa inyo yung paggamit ng factoring. We have x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. In factoring, you need to think of the factors of 6, that the sum is equal to 5, and the factors are 2 times 3, meaning the factors of this trinomial are x plus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then after that, equate, equate each factor by 0. We have x plus 2 is equal to 0, and the other is x plus 3 is equal to 0. Transpose this to the other side. This positive 2 will become negative 2. So the first value of x is x is equal to negative 2. This is the first solution of the equation. Next, we have x plus 3. Transpose this to the other side. We have x is equal to negative 3 as our second solution. Now let me show you the use of the quadratic formula. Our quadratic formula is this. Let me write the formula. We have x is equal to negative b positive negative square root of b square minus 4 times a times c over 2a. Now, before using the quadratic formula, you need to convert or to secure that the quadratic equation is already in standard form. In this case, our given equation is already in standard form. Now, bakit natin kailangan malaman or bakit natin kailangan secure na yung ating equations are all in standard form? Because we need to get we need to know what are the values of a, b, and c. Okay? In this equation, the value or the coefficient of a is equal to 1. Our a is equal to 1. Your b is the coefficient of the linear term, which is the 5. And our c is the constant term, which is 6. Then after identifying the values of a, b, and c, plug in or substitute those letters or those values to its, to its corresponding variable. Let's continue. We have x is equal to negative. That is negative originally. Negative b. Your b is 5. So we need to copy positive negative square root of b square. That is b square, meaning your b is 5. So that is 5 square minus 4 times your a is 1 times your c is 6. Okay? So let's continue. What we have here is this. Over, sorry, we have over 2 times your a which is equal to 1. We have your x is equal to negative 5, positive negative square root of, we have 5 squared already here, which is 25. And multiplying this, you have negative 4 times 1, which is negative 4 times 6, which is negative 24 or minus 24 over 2 times 1, which is 2. We need to simplify this. 
25 minus 24 is equal to the square root of 1 over 2. So, adjust lang natin na konti ang ating paper para magkaroon tayo ng enough space for our solution. Now, when you simplify this, your x is equal to negative 5. The square root of 1 is 1. So, we have positive negative 1 over 2. We're not yet done because we need to get the value of x sub 1 and x sub 2. So, this time, so, gamitin natin to space ito. For the x sub 1, negative 5, gamitin natin yung positive, plus 1 over 2. So, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4 over 2. Our x sub 1 is equal to negative 2. This is the answer, guys. As you can see, the first solution is the same as the first solution. Let's find out for the x sub 2. Negative 5 again. But this time, we will use the negative 1. Minus 1 over 2. This is negative 6 in your numerator over 2. And as you can see, your x sub 2 is equal to negative 3. And though we used different methods on how to calculate for this equation, as you can see, we have two the same solutions using factoring and the quadratic equation. Now let's continue with our next example. For our next example, we are given the equation 2x squared minus 4x minus 3, 30 is equal to 0. Now, again, this equation is already in standard form. So we need to do is to get the value of a, which is 2. This is your a. Your b, it's not, neg it's not 4. b is equal to negative 4. Your c is equal to negative 30. Now, after identifying those values, plug into your formula. So we have x is equal to your negative. Your b is negative. And close most of parentheses, negative 4. Positive negative square root of. Your b is negative 4. You have negative 4. And close by parentheses, guys. Squared minus 4 times your a is 2. Your C is equal to negative 30. Over 2 times 2, which is your A. Next, continue natin. Negative times negative is positive, so it, it will become 4. Plus negative square root of. This is 16. And when you multiply negative, 20, uh, negative 4 times 2, this is, this is negative 8 minus, uh, times negative 30, this is positive, plus 240 over 4. We still need to simplify this. You have your x is equal to 4 plus negative square root of. 2, 56 over 4. When you simplify this, guys, your x is equal to 4, positive, negative. The square root of 2, 56 is 16. This is a perfect square over 4. As you can see, meron tayo. Uh, when you're done simplifying the radical, you can, ano, after that, you can get the x sub 1 and x sub 2. Calculate natin. For x sub 1, ito na gamitin natin part, ha? We have 4, then yung positive, 16 over 4. Simplify, 4 plus 16 is equal to 20 over 4. Divide it to become 5. Okay? So this is your x sub 1 or the first solution of this quadratic equation. For the x sub 2, 
still have 4, then negative muna, negative 16 over 4. This is negative 12 over 4. And dividing these numbers, it will become negative 3. So as you can see, we have the solutions. The solutions are the values of x for this quadratic equation is simply 5 and negative 3. Okay, 5 and negative 3. Now, as part of our routine, I want you to solve, I hope you can see in the comment section, what are the solutions of this quadratic equation using, again, using quadratic formula. We have x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So I hope guys, you learned something from this video on how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin ba button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me teacher gone. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!